somebody needs to come with me to Sephora so that I don't do something stupid like try to sell them my blood again. Hey, Naturally Curly World, it's Alexandra, and today we are trying Riri's latest lip collection, and I am so here for it. One of my favorite things already about these is the packaging. All of the packaging from the whole Fenty line is so gorgeous. And I really like the names she chose. They're so Rihanna. They're so like, you know, like just a little bit sassy, a little bit sexy. We have one of the boys, Spanked, Candy Venom, and Single. And then we also have one of the Stunna Lip Paints and Uncensored. So let's get started. Candy Venom. Oh, hot pink. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, y'all. I am plain Jane. I love neutrals and browns, real basic, you know? As you can see, I am feeling this color, y'all. I did not think this hot pink was gonna do me any justice, but it's really, really cute. It's definitely my new summer color. This is what I would wear when mom says, you can't wear your black lipstick to this family function. I'm just like, all right, well, if I can't be creepy, I'm gonna be super obnoxious, let's go. I used to wear these kinds of colors a lot in like my early 20s. I loved a hot pink fuchsia lip. And ever since then, I've hated it. Yeah, instantly I feel, I feel 25. As predicted, it's not my favorite. It probably looks fine, it just takes me back to another me, and I'm not that girl anymore. I like this one, I think it's a cute statement lip. Um, if you're going to like a bridal shower. It's not my favorite, it's kinda like, I don't know. Single, FYI your girl is not single. This would probably be my like everyday go-to, that nude, the henna brown. So this actually has some orange undertones. It's really natural, you can barely even see it. Um, I like it. I don't actually like it as much as I thought I would because it really just blends in. It looks very nude. Uh, I normally don't love nude lipsticks. They just kind of wash me out. I think this is what the YouTubers call peachy pink. It's a peachy pinky kind of peachy pink. It probably looks fine. Like my mom would probably like this color on me. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's a nude for a lot of people. Um, for me, it's like a good five shades darker than my skin tone, so it's not a nude. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite colors to wear as a lipstick. It's like a pinky, orangey kind of nude. Um, it's a really good everyday lipstick for me, and that's why I love it. Spanked. This might be the one because it's a little bit darker has like some red undertones, but it's still a very like everyday lipstick that, that I can get somewhere out of. Oh, girl, this blends in more than the other one. I like it. I don't love it. It doesn't have that much of a red undertone as I was thinking that it would to make it pop. This also just blends in. It doesn't do too much for me. I really, really am digging this. So this is kind of like a dusty roses color. I look all innocent and sweet. I'm gonna go, I don't know, I'm gonna go rob a bank after this. So this is spanked. I like it. I think this is something that you could wear every day. Um, it looks like it would pull your makeup look together and make you feel a little bit more dressed up, but I could easily eat a meal. I wouldn't have to worry about my lips, so this one's good. I like this single better. I wouldn't not wear this, but I'd probably wear it like for a night out or something like that where I'm wearing heavier makeup. Um, I do. I think it's just a little bit, something's a little bit off about it with my skin tone. I definitely like single better than this one, but I do like this one. I just think it looks better on other people. One of the boys, and it is that purple color, and I don't think it's gonna look good on me at all, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So, I would obviously not wear this on an everyday basis. Not my favorite. It's extremely loud. The purple does just not do me any justice. The purple is just not for me. I'm just real uncomfortable right now, just being honest. I've never been a stranger to wearing purple lips. Usually it's a lot, 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 lot darker than this. This is kind of like an orchid shade, but I uh, I can't lie, I'm kind of feeling it on me. So this is, it's, it's light, 
and it's weird and it suits me and I think I have a wig that's gonna match this actually so I'm really excited. I guess maybe he's one of the rude boys. Uh, yeah, he's big enough. This works. I feel like this is really ugly cute. Like I think 99% of people will not like this but I'm in the 1% that just really enjoys wearing weird colors on my face. You know, it's not the worst. Like, I could rock this probably. It's cute. Pleasantly surprised. One of the boys. It's done a lip paint. Oh, girl. Oh. Mm mm mm. Y'all. I mean, you see it. You see how good this looks. And it's not just on me. Like, everybody that I've seen that has rocked this red lip has been killing it. It is so fierce and bold and so sexy. It just makes you feel so damn good. Oh. Okay, so this is me and Uncensored. And to be honest, I'm not, I'm not sure how to feel. I think I'm just maybe not used to seeing myself in red, so I'm just kind of like, mm, mm. I'm into it. I'm not into it right now on me, but I could definitely be into this in the future. Ooh, this is a weird shape. This is a very weird shape. Wow, it's really wet. Okay, I think it's because this formula is so liquidy and light that it has instantly seeped into my lines and I don't really even have lines. I don't know if it tops my Wet n Wild. I'm really attached to that, but I do enjoy how deep the color is. It's kind of it's kind of blood red and that's hot. I love it. I already love it. I'm biased. I want to marry this lip color. What I recommend is you take this out and you just wait. You just wait it out. I love it. I wear it all the time. I haven't seen it look bad on anybody. It's my favorite red. If you are an avid eater of greasy foods, it may end up on your chin because of biting into things and then transferring. Have some on your chin. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Like right now, I have some on my chin and I just, I, I talked to you that whole time and I had some on my chin. It's fixed now. Uh, and this is, this is what it looks like. All these lipsticks, they're matte, but they're not chalky. They're really smooth and I love the packaging and how slim and chic these are. You did that, Riri. I could tell that everything was just so creamy, which is sometimes a problem with matte lipstick. So, you know, kudos on that texture. Everything felt good, it smelt good, it dealt good. It was just good. This was so much fun that you might as well at least get one and try it out. I bet you could also just do that at the store and then pick your favorite. So I'd love to hear in the comments, which one's your favorite color? Have you tried the green one? Because that's the one I wanna try next, or that gray blue one too. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We make these videos every week, so we'll see you next week. Bye.